Hello and welcome back to another Top Korean Movies video by Ian Talk. Before, I had a video titled Top Korean Movies by Total Audience, where we looked at the top 20 Korean films by the total audiences at the box offices. Extending upon that video, today we'll be looking at the top 20 Korean movies by their ratings. A quick reminder, the Ian Talk Patreon is open, so if you would like to support me in making content such as today's video, please head over to the Ian Talk Patreon and sign up as a Patreon. Just a few bucks can help me out so much. Also, before going into the video, I'd just like to clarify the criteria that I used to rank the movies. First, I got the list of top 100 Korean movies by box office numbers from the Korean Film Council. And amongst the top 100 films, I looked up the audience scores and critics scores on Naver, the Korean search engine. After compiling the data for both the audience and critics scores, I combined the two ratings by averaging them and got the list of the top 20 Korean movies with the combined average of the two scores. Furthermore, movies that did not have either an audience score or critic score were not considered when compiling this list. Now then, that being said, let's get right into the reveal of the top 20 list. Coming in at number 20 was the comedy that took the nation by storm last year, Extreme Job. Extreme Job starred Ryu Seung Yong, Lee Han Yee, Jin Seung Gyu, Lee Dong Hee, and Gong Myung and was released on January 23rd of 2019. The film had an audience rating of 9.2, a critic's rating of 6.8, to have a combined average rating of 8. At number 19 was the Korean historical drama, The Throne. Released on September 16th of 2015, The Throne starred Song kang Ho, Yoo Ah-in, and Moon Geun young and had an audience score of 8.49, critic score of 7.54, having an average score of 8.015. Number 18 was a 2016 movie starring Song kang Ho and Kong Yu, titled The Age of Shadows. Released on September 7th of 2016, The Age of Shadows was an action drama that had an audience rating of 8.57, critic score of 7.5, and the combined rating of 8.035. Coming in at number 17, Nameless Gangster Rules of Time was a great crime slash drama starring Choi min Sik and Ha jong Woo. Released on February 2nd of 2012, Nameless Gangster had an audience score of 8.63, critics rating of 7.5, combining to an average of 8.065. At number 16 was my personal favorite crime slash thriller, New World, starring Lee Jung Jae, Choi Min Sik, and Hwang Jung Min. The movie wasn't only a great crime slash thriller, but also had great action and frequent humor points that kept it from being too serious. Hwang Jung Min was just amazing in this movie. The film was released on February 21st of 2013 and had an audience score of 8.92, a critics rating of 7.22, and a combined score of 8.07. Next, Silence took the number 15 spot with the great main cast of Kong Yu and Chung Yumi. This drama film was released on September 22nd of 2011 and had an audience score of 9.27, a critic score of 6.92, totaling to a combined average score of 8.095. Number 14 was a comedic film that I highly enjoyed. The action slash comedy truly showed the acting potential of Cho Jung Suk and Girls Generation's Yuna and had me both laughing and at the edge of my seat throughout its duration. The movie is Exit. Exit was released last year on July 31st and was the first movie I reviewed on the Ian Talk YouTube channel. I'll leave all the links to the reviews I made of the movies on this list in the descriptions down below so be sure to check those out as well. Exit had an audience score of 8.99, a critics rating of 7.23, having a total of 8.11. The number 13 movie is a fairly old but a legendary Korean film, Tata, The High Rollers. This is the first of the Tata series and had a stunning lineup of Cho Sung Woo, Kim Hae Soo, Pae Kyun Sik, and Yoo Hae Jin. The movie was a crime drama but also had great comedy and thrill as well. Released on September 28th of 2006, the first Tata film had an audience rating of 9.17, critic score of 7.17, and a combined average of 8.17. The number 11 spot was a tie as the average score of the next two movies were the same. The first was an action slash drama starring the amazing Song Kang Ho and Kang Dong Won titled Secret Reunion. Released on 
February 4th of 2010, the movie had an audience score of 8.86, critic score of 7.55, and an average of 8.205. The other number 11 movie was an amazing mystery slash thriller film released on May 12th of 2016, The Wailing. Starring Kwak Do Won, Hwang Jung Min, Kunimura Jun, Chun Yu and Kim Wan Yi, The Wailing is one of the best Korean thrillers as mentioned on my best Korean thrillers video and was one of the few Korean movies that got a lot of global recognition. The film had an audience rating of 8.23, a critics rating of 8.18, averaging an 8.205. 10 movies down, 10 more to go. Which movies had the highest ratings? Which films satisfied both the audiences and the critics? Let's find out. The number 10 Korean movie that had the highest score was the Korean historical drama starring Lee Byung-hun, Lee Seung-myung, and Han Hyo-ju, Masquerade. Although this movie was a historical drama, it had lots of humor as well, differentiating it from traditional Korean historical movies. Released on September 13th of 2012, the movie had an audience score of 9.24, a critic score of 7.27, and a combined average of 8.255. And number 9 was another legendary Korean thriller that really defines the genre, The Chaser. Starring Kim yoon Seok and Ha jong woo The Chaser was my number 3 favorite Korean thrillers on the best Korean thrillers list. Released on Valentine's Day of 2008, the movie had an audience rating of 9.09, .09, a critic score of 7.5, leading to a total of 8.295. The number 8 Korean movie with the highest rating was another movie that had massive global reach, The Host. Starring Song Kang-ho, Byung Yi Bong, Park Hae-il, Bae Joon-ha, and Ko Ah Sung, The Host was not only an action slash thriller slash science fiction, but also had great humor and really takes the audience on an adventure. As with other Bong Joon-ho films, it's really hard to categorize the film into a single genre. The movie was released on July 27th of 2006 and had an audience score of 8.62, a critic score of 8, and a total of 8.31. Coming in at the number 7 spot was the only romance drama on the list, Architecture 101. Architecture 101 had an amazing cast lineup of Um Tae-ung, Han Ga-in, Lee Jae-hoon, and Suji, and was released on March 22nd of 2012. With an audience rating of 9.5 and a critic score of 7.19, the combined average of Architecture 101 was 8.345. Moving along, the number 5 highest rated movie was another tie between two amazing movies. But before going into the top 5 zone, I'd just like to say that being on this top 5 list is a huge feat as it's usually very hard to please both the audience and critics. Which films had the highest ratings out of Korean movies? Have your favorite Korean movies come out yet? Place your comments down below guessing which will be the top 5. Now then, without further ado, let's get into the reveals. The first movie of the tied number 5 spot was Dark Figure of Crime starring Kim yoon Seok and Chu ji hoon Released on October 3rd of 2018, Dark Figure of Crime was an amazing crime slash drama based on true events and really showcased the acting abilities of Chu ji hoon for more info, be sure to check out my written review of the film on the Ian Talk website, link in the descriptions. The movie had an audience score of 8.58, critic score of 8.14, for a total score of 8.36. The other tied number 5 film was the 2013 film starring Song Kang-ho, Kim Young-hae, Oh Dar-soo, Kwak Do-won, and Im Si-wan, titled The Attorney. The Attorney was released on December 18th of 2013 and had an audience rating of 9.29, a critics rating of 7.43, and a total average rating of 8.36. The number 4 film on the list of top Korean movies by ratings was an amazing crime action drama with one of the best casts of Hwang Jung-min, Yoo Ah-in, Yoo Hye-jin, and Oh Dar-soo, Veteran. The movie was released on August 5th and had an audience score of 9.24, a critics rating of 7.5 for a total combined average of 8.37. The third most highly rated movie out of South Korean cinema was not only the oldest film on this list but also the only war film. The number 3 spot goes to the movie Welcome to Dongmakgol starring Jung Jae-young, Shin Ha-gyun, and Kang Hye-jung. 
Welcome to Dongmakgol was released on August 4th of 2005 and recorded an audience score of 8.9, critics rating of 8, and a total average of 8.45. With only two movies left, which movie came second to the highest rated movie in Korea? The number two spot goes to the 2017 film with a wondrous cast of Kim yun Seok, Ha jong Woo, Yu Hye Jin, Kim Tae Ri, Park Hee Soon, and Lee Hee Joon. 1987 When the Day Comes 1987 When the Day Comes was released on December 27th of 2017 and had a stunning audience score of 9.31, critics score of 8.08, totaling to an average of 8.695. And now, just the number one movie left. Which Korean movie was loved the most? Which film had the highest rating amongst the many amazing Korean movies? The number one movie that had the highest combined rating of audience and critic scores was the recently crowned Best Picture, Best Original Screenplay, Best International Film, and Best Directorial Work, Parasite. Released last year on May 30th, Parasite has an amazing cast of Song Kang-ho, Lee Seung-yoon, Jo Yo-jung, Choi Yoo-sik, Park So-dam, Lee Jung-eun, and Chang Hye-jin. Parasite is a very hard movie to give a genre for, as it's not only a drama, thriller, mystery, and comedy, but has so many more layers to it. I guess it'd be best to just give it a genre of quote unquote Bong Joon-ho. Parasite had a very high audience rating of 9.07, equally high critics rating of 9.06, combining to an average of 9.065. That concludes today's video of Top Korean Movies by Ratings. If you love videos such as this, be sure to check out my other Top Korean Movies videos such as the Top Korean Movies by Total Audience, Most Memorable Korean Movies, Best Korean Thrillers, and more. i leave the links to the videos in the description down below. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to show you are enjoying my videos. And if you love the content that I've been creating, your support on Patreon would be very much appreciated. Some perks include early access content, community chat, exclusive content, shoutouts, polls, and more. Thank you to everyone that watched till the end, and I'll see you guys in the next one.